Come on, guys. Go slow. Chuck Stinger used to be in pain, taking storm and ashes around the block. 33 years as a professional firefighter took a toll on his joints. Auto accident scene, I was on the fire department, kneeling down to treat a patient, and it felt almost like a nail was going through my knee. It wasn't a nail, it was arthritis. Chuck struggled for years with pain and was considering knee replacement when he learned about a new option. It's kind of compressing down like you would see with a shock absorber. The Calypso knee system is being tested at the Ohio State University Wexner Medical Center. Surgeons make a six inch incision on the inside of the knee and insert the device. You're putting a shock absorber outside the knee joint on the inner portion of the knee so that when they are walking, that shock absorber takes some of that load off. Doctors say the hope is that the device will delay or eliminate a patient's need to have knee replacement. Chuck was the first patient in the country to have the Calypso implanted. The second day post-op, I'd put the crutches away. You know, the actual device is right there. There's a small bump on the side of his knee. Otherwise, Chuck can't feel the device, but he knows it's working. You know, walking the dogs is, is not a problem now. Up and down stairs with this Calypso, if it works for me, I hope it helps a lot of other people too. Yeah, good boy. For now, back on his feet, almost pain-free. I'm Marty Salt reporting.